Let's talk about data consistency, and this is when data is being kept in two different places and whether the data exactly matches or does not match. So when you have to duplicate data uh, in many places and you need to keep them up to date to be exactly matching based on how the data is transmitted and service level, uh, the service levels of your cloud service provider, they'll use these two terms and we'll hear strongly consistent and eventually consistent. So strongly consistent means every time you request data, so you query data, you can expect consistent data be be returned within X time. So they might say within 10 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, one second. So the thing is we will never return to you old data, but you'll have to wait at least X amount of seconds for the query to return, whatever that defined time is. We talk about eventual consistency when you when you request when you request data, you may get back inconsistent data within X amount of period, so two seconds. We are giving you whatever data is currently in the database. You may get new data or old data, but if you wait a little bit longer, it will generally be up to date. Why would we have these two methods? It just depends on your use case. Maybe you can tolerate some data to be inconsistent. It's more important to get whatever data is available now. And sometimes you need an absolute guarantee that the data is one-to-one, -one. okay? So those are the two different ones.